What's up, YouTube? Zazibar here. Um, and I'm going to come at you with a review of the most recent Transformers movie, Transformers 3 Dark of the Moon. Now, if you follow my channel, you know that I'm not a big fan of Michael Bay. And I have m many reasons for that that I'm not going to get into here because that's something I could save for another video. I'm just here to talk about my, my reaction to uh, Transformers Dark of the Moon. Um... I think the first thing I should do is just quickly go through the other two movies and just uh, my overall reaction to the franchise. Now, right off the bat, I'm not a humongous tr fan of uh, Transformers in general. I've watched uh, a lot of the G1 series, and you know it's enjoyable. It's a nice, l it's a nice little action cartoon. And the biggest thing that I liked about those that that series was that the Transformers were actual characters in that, and. Um, when I jumped over back to the movies again, because the original uh, Transformers movie that came out in 2007, I thought it was awesome when I first saw it, and it really got me interested in uh, looking at other Transformers things, and that's when I started watching G1 on, on uh, YouTube and stuff. And I was like, hmm, well, in the original, the Transformers were actual characters, and so were the humans. In the movie, the humans are what you could call characters, while the Transformers are just giant toys to beat the crap out of each other. Now, what what I did understand, even at that age, was that, alright, this is just a big, fun action movie. I can deal with that. So, I'm not going to take it too seriously. It's not going to be as... It's not going to be as character-driven as the as the cartoon was a lot of the time. The real, Really, the only one who gets the most... A lot of lines and a characterization is Tr Optimus Prime... And all the other Autobots are all just goody-goody two-shoes, while the Decepticons are all bad people, I guess. Anyway, and it wasn't—it was kind of like that in the cartoon, but it was a little bit more. They went into a little more depth with the Decepticons, and they were really made evil, not by people just saying by calling them Decepticons, but by the actions they did. And I didn't really get that in the first movie. I think a little bit more in the second. And it's it's not at all in Dark of the Moon. So that's I so I liked the first movie. I thought it was a fun action movie. I liked the second movie for the same reason, but I also thought the second movie was really funny. And that's that's you know, that kind of saved it for me because the Transformers were weren't characters at all. The movie should have just been called Shia LaBeouf and these giant robots beating the crap out of each other. And um it didn't really. It wasn't really a Transformers movie as much as it was a movie about Sam Witwicky, and that's fine. I like Sam Witwicky, and Shia LaBeouf is pretty funny. And but I, I want a movie more about the Transformers themselves. And some people might f take problem with that because it might just look like a giant CGI animated movie, like the recent game that came out, Transformers: War for Cybertron. I loved, and it, because it was about the Transformers and. I really felt like I got good characterizations out of them, especially, um, I loved Optimus in that game, and Megatron, and I thought it was awesome how they delved into the early days of their rivalry. And, in these movies, I didn't get that, really, I mean, they, it's just, it's kind of there, just for a reason for the two to fight every movie, and in the second movie, you didn't even see it. Um, anyway, I, I know I'm getting a lot of off, tr off track, but I haven't really reviewed... Uh, the other Transformers movies, so I just figured I might as well get into that while I'm reviewing Dark of the Moon. So, I liked the first two movies. I thought the, f the first one was a fun action ride, and I thought the second movie was, again, fun action, not quite as good action, but fun, and it was funny. And now we get to Dark of the Moon, and it brings up a problem with having Michael Bay as your director. He's never really had a franchise before uh, Transformers, and it's really starting to get the the problem of sequelitis is really starting to show here. Um, basically, when I was watching it, I started plugging in scenes from Transformers Two into scenes from Dark of the Moon, and it was the exact same movie. Um, and here, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna give an example. Go back to each uh, each of the other two Transformers movies, and then go to Dark of the Moon. What's the common thing in the beginning? We get a scene from Human History, and it injects the Transformers into it. My problem is that this is the third movie in a running franchise. It, you can't keep going back to the past 
and injecting Transformers in because it brings up a question. Why didn't they do this two damn movies ago? Why didn't um, Megatron go straight to Egypt? Um, why didn't... Uh, why didn't... Uh, uh, sorry, I'm having a little bit of <laughs> issue. Uh, why didn't uh, Megatron go straight to the moon? Or, you know, why is this happening now? Why are we just finding out that there are auto Autobots and Decepticons on the moon? Why are we just finding out that Sentinel betrayed Optimus? Why wasn't this... Why couldn't this just happen in the here and now? Why do we keep having to go back to human history? It just brings up too many questions, to quote Bruce Wayne from Batman Forever. Um, you know, it, it was just a, too big of a problem for me to overlook, and I kept asking myself the question until I, I, I got an answer, and I never did. Um... And also, what another problem with Dark of the Moon is the comedy. And, you know, again, I thought the second movie was very funny. Um, and it was the exact... This movie was not funny at all. Uh, they just tried to repeat the comedy elements from the, fir from the first two movies, and it just falls flat. There are a couple of funny jokes, and I couldn't even really remember them. I just remember laughing a few times. And at some points, it was just like, um, yeah, can we go back to the robots beating each other up? You know... Shia LaBeouf was just real. Just his acting was fresh in the first Transformers, and it was nice to see him again in Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen. In Dark of the Moon, it's just like, okay, I've seen this before. Now can we go back to the robots beating the crap out of each other? And that's my my biggest problem with Dark of the Moon. It's way too familiar, and it's just it's it's Revenge of the Fallen with diff with just like new things inserted into the different scenes. The, it starts with uh, Transformers being injected into human history. And and then it goes to catching up with Sam and talking about the events of the last movie, which is barely brought up in Dark of the Moon. And uh, then we meet his girlfriend, which isn't even explained. Um, and then in the end, we have a humongous battle scene involving the military, Autobots, and Decepticons in some really, uh, you know, really big populated area. And in, in the first movie, it was L.A. In the second movie, it was Egypt, which isn't populated, but it's a it's a landmark. It was the it was the, it was the pyramids, and now it's Chicago, which is just it feels very forced. It's just like my I, it sounds like I guess Michael Bay was like, all right, I want to take a trip to Chicago, but I want to make some money out of it, so we decided to film the third movie there. Um, so now I'm gonna go over to the the Transformers themselves. They're barely characters, as I said, and it was it wasn't as bad in uh the first movie because there weren't that many of them and we got little moments where they had more than one line the second movie it was barely evident like devastator didn't get one line uh star scream barely got any dialogue that wasn't just exposition um megatron in the first movie got a couple lines but that's excusable because he came back in the last act um and in this movie my biggest problem is that Sentinel Prime is completely wasted. And he's got a great voice actor with, Le with Leonard Nimoy. And there's just so much potential with, first of all, that voice actor. Second of all, the whole idea of him betraying Optimus is really interesting. And it's completely just ignored just for the two to beat the crap out of each other in the end. And that's what these movies always set up. They always set up uh, some big fight between Optimus and some other uh, Decepticon or just another robot in the end and it just got it was it was getting tiresome and i i don't know um the acting was for the most part the same very consistent with the sec with the first two which is in some cases good in some cases bad shia labeouf is fine you know he he, he was at least trying he sounded like he had energy like he had passion for the franchise um the guy who played Lennox, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't really remember his name. I know he's not hes not exactly uh, an unknown actor either. Um, he was super cheesy, and true, this is based on an 80s action cartoon, but thats it's just too much. Um, the, the, actually, I like the new girlfriend. Uh, she was a little, she was a little like just uh, chewing the scenery, so to speak, and not, and not the, the way you mean, not the way that I mean. She just kind of looked like she was there to look pretty in front of giant explosions and giant robots and uh, someone to run behind Shia LaBeouf. But I actually, you know, she was alright. 
Uh, she was basically the same thing, same function as Megan Fox. Uh, the, the, the again, the the Autobots are just like completely wasted. Bumblebee is another one of the Autobots that always got a little more screen time than some of the other uh, Transformers. And here he, it's actually he doesn't get nearly as much screen time as he did in the first two, and he has even less of a character than he did in the first two. He doesn't really seem to care for Sam anymore. Um, he's completely b abandoned his guardian thing, and, uh, I, I'm really, I'm really, uh, nitpicking now, so I'm just gonna go over to what I liked about the movie. Uh, well, the action was nice, uh, it was a little uh, glitchy at some points, and one thing I've been noticing is that Michael Bay has started using stock footage from other movies. Uh, didn't we stop using stock footage in, like, the 70s? I mean... I'm gonna kind I'm I'm gonna kind of insult him for a minute here. The Godzilla series is a series infamous infamous for using stock footage, but the minute that Toho got some money to kick around, they stopped using stock footage in '85. This is 2000 freaking 11. If you don't have the money to shoot the scene, don't shoot the scene. And he's used stock footage from Armageddon, the island, and in in this it's even worse than it was in the first two. But he's really bad with stock footage, and it's weird because of, you know, just the times. And it shouldn't really affect the quality of the movie, but it's it's just annoying. So yeah, I, I guess from what I've been saying, you can determine that I didn't like Dark of the Moon. I thought it was disappointing. So, take, take that as you will, but uh, if you liked it, don't take this as an insult. This is my own personal opinion. I didn't like the movie. If you disagree with me, you don't have to attack me in the comments and say, Oh, it's just a silly action movie. Yeah, fine. But we've had that for two movies already. It's just, it's not necessary to see in the theater. If you like the first two, go watch the first two again. This is the exact same movie with different uh, villains and just different uh, motivations, different story. But it's all the same movie. I was extremely disappointed. Um, I really hope they don't make a fourth one because it's... You know, Michael Bay seems to have a hard time making a franchise. And I just really hope this was the last movie. Um, there's no reason to continue because it, we're just going to have another Transformers 2. Just with a different title. Maybe next time it'll, they'll call it Transformers. Oh wait, this movie's about Shia LaBeouf. So uh, we're going to show one minute of Transformers fighting each other and then that's it. So, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to give Transformers Dark of the Moon... I'll give it a 1 out of 5. I really, really didn't like it. Um, it was just really disappointing because I did like the first two movies. And just just as a... just It was just a bitter example of why I don't like Michael Bay. Um, if anything, if we're ever going to see another Transformers movie, I think it should be a reboot. And I know the word reboot has become almost taboo now. But this is a franchise that really, really deserves it. Um... So, Hasbro, hand it over to another director, let someone who actually understands the concept of uh, story and characters, and that the fact that Transformers are the title character, characters, excuse me, so they need to be the forefront. So, yeah, I really, I really think the franchise should be rebooted as more of a science fiction se uh, series, potentially the first movie taking place on Cybertron. Um... So, yeah, I didn't really like Dark of the Moon. If you disagree with me, just say it in the comments. You don't need to be rude about it. I know I haven't been posting a lot of videos, but uh, I, did this, I did this because it was a movie I really wanted to talk about. And I know this review is a little longer than it should be, but I just wanted to say I really didn't like Dark of the Moon, and I wanted to be specific about it because I'm not just ranting about uh, a series that's popular to hate on. I really legitimately didn't like Dark of the Moon, and I really legitimately don't like Michael Bay. So, hopefully this is the last Transformers movie. If you want to watch... If you want to watch Dark of the Moon, just watch Revenge of the Fallen or the first movie. Because they're the same movies. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give Dark of the Moon a 1 out of 5. If you think that's too low, that's my opinion. So, if you, if you, think, if you think I'm wrong, then you can make your own video. So, again, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I'm going to try and do a lot more of these reviews where I've seen recent movies. Uh, I'm going to try and get to see Green Lantern at some point so I can review that. Um, so, thanks a lot for watching. 
uh, Zazabar out. 